Hello, and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, looking at all things fintech. Uh, we've been going now for about six years, and you can watch all the previous episodes on thebanker.com slash tech talks. I'm Joy McKnight, editor of The Banker, and I have with me this week is Azamat Sultanov, who's co-founder and co-CEO of Fortu Wealth, uh, which is an all-in-one personal finance platform for high net worth individuals and also a banking as a service platform solution. Thanks so much for joining me, Azamat. Thank you for having me. Uh, pleasure. So how would you say that the millennial generation uh, is really pushing for change in terms of the private wealth banking environment? You know, what are they demanding? From our research, uh, we see that Millennials have uh, a bit different expectation of private banking and do not fully understand the value proposition of the existing model. Uh, for example, they would rather have uh, things digitally uh, via their phone uh, rather than meeting uh, their banker in person. Uh, they don't want to be called in from the recorded line. Uh, they would prefer to have a quick vo voice message instead. Uh, so there are like little details and things which um, uh, I think change the paradigm of private banking and the value proposition that has to work. And this millennial generation, why we're talking about them is because uh, there is a transition of wealth from the baby boomers towards millennials. Uh, and it's a sort of big uh, game changer, I would say, in the industry. Uh, so private banks inevitably have to adapt to this new type of clients uh, who are mobile only, who are uh, value driven in the investment uh, uh, choices. So they, they are a bit different and uh, they uh, got used to uh, subscription based models to uh, everything nearly free. <laughs> so they have different expectations on fees as well. So what would you say are the biggest technology challenges for private banks and wealth managers today? I would say, uh, I would recommend anyone uh, of your audience just to go on App Store and look for top tier uh, private banks and look at the apps. And they, it, I mean, they tell uh, for themselves, right? You can see mm -hmm. the design, you, you can see number of downloads or feedbacks. So it means that no, none of the existing private banks are actively using the apps or customers of the banks are actively using the, uh, the apps and there is a reason why they're not using it. it's not because the audience doesn't want it it's because the product is incomparable in terms of its design in terms of uh, functionality user friendliness uh, to existing challenger banks because if you look at uh, new challenger banks that the design they have the quality of product they have it's it's uh, a completely new level but uh, it's it's really strange that uh, private banking clients cannot really use these retail uh, solutions because when they try to do high value payments mm -hmm. they always get blocked because they are not designed for them they are they have algorithmic risk management tools so it's impossible to deal with high value payments within these apps Okay, uh, and then how does Fortu Wealth uh, address some of these challenges? Uh, so here uh, in Fortu, we're trying to uh, create a digital first solution. So uh, our idea is to uh, remain uh, the core values of keep the core values of private banking, having the personalized approach, uh, having the uh, not the tick the box approach to the compliance, but rather a qualitative approach personally for each client. Uh, but at the same time, have a very good digital product. So we focused on design, on improving the product. We consistently uh, change it. And uh, I hope that uh, uh, this user experience element, uh, uh, convenience for the client, time saved for the client, uh, would, would be a main, the main USP of the product. Uh, but at the same time, we find it challenging because uh, it's not an easy uh, 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 task uh, to solve. But uh, I feel that we are on the right path because we, we receive a lot of interest from uh, our customers. We have a big list of uh, pre-registered clients. We uh, 
uh, have a lot of interest from investors because people are all also thinking about this problem. It's not only us uh, who are puzzled by the current situation. So they, they understand that there is no answer yet on the market for this problem. And uh, someone will come up with it. And uh, we are glad to be one of the innovators in that space, basically. And it's a really exciting journey for us. That's it. Um, and my last question is really around robo advisors. Obviously, there's uh, you know been this big explosion. You know, um, what is your opinion about Rosa, robo advisors? And then also, what role do you think they will play in the future? Uh, me, as a my experience as an asset manager, I can tell you that uh, you always have to combine human versus robo. Um, because uh, there are some qualitative moments when you need uh, analytical approach. Um, but at the same time, when it comes to execution, it's better to use a uh, robotic approach, uh, automated approach, because uh, robots do not have emotions. So I think that uh, you, in the future, we will see more of a uh, curated investment experience for finance worth individuals powered by robo-advisors. But uh, the actual input, main input, should come from the investor. Uh, I mean, what we are trying to build in our wealth offering is uh, thematical investments. But uh, again, they are automated, but themes are defined by the customer. So that's not, it's not robot defining what, what is more uh, important to the customer because we're trying to push the value-driven investing meaning that what you believe in generally, say if you believe in renewable energy or lower CO2 emissions, or you believe in uh, autonomous driving, self-driving cars. So those are your beliefs, and we suggest a portfolio based on your beliefs uh, that this will happen in the future. So that's that's the idea on uh, uh, thematic robo-investing that we are pushing and hopefully we'll see it soon, very soon, within the next three months, we are launching that feature and it it should it should be something everyone will be able to try. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your insights, Azamat. Thank you. Thank you.